If you are returning from part one of this walkthrough of the Temple of Baal, welcome! If you are looking for how to reach the murder tribunal or how to defeat them, check out this previous video and then come back to this one. I won't bore you too long here, but in this video we will talk about a fight with more Baal cultists and then finally the boss fight with Orin. Let's get into it. After defeating the murder tribunal, pick up the amulet of Baal and the map to the temple off of Savrock. You will then need to find your way into the sewers. One of the easiest routes I've found is through this sewer grate near the Basilisk Waypoint. Then you will need to follow the waypoint to the Undercity on your map through the sewers. You will eventually read a sigil for the Undercity and you will know you're in the right spot. Just to the right of the Undercity sigil there will be a door where I used the Amulet of Ball and told the door that I murdered the murder tribunal. The door will open and you will shortly find yourself in combat again. The biggest problem in this fight is the Far Slayer who immediately begins targeting all of your party as ritual targets. If this individual completes his ritual in the given number of rounds, a member of your party will suffer from the power word kill spell and immediately die. If you can break his concentration for the spell, that is great, but he is pretty far away. You can also run far enough away from him and he can't continue casting it, but it also makes things more complicated. Instead, here's how I did the fight and it became 10 times easier. Invisibility is the plan here. I recommend taking two heavy hitters, so for me I picked Karlek and Astarian and made them invisible. Be sure to jump straight into turn-based mode so you don't waste your invisibility. Also, sea invisibility is essential to this plan, so put that on one of your invisible friends. Leave those who are not invisible behind and have your invisible friends make a mad dash for this area or the area where you know the Far Slayer will be. Hopefully, with sea invisibility, you will see the Far Slayer just standing here. Once you have your invisible friends ready to strike, start hitting him. This will trigger combat, but only with him in my experience. He will also try to run away, but you should be able to close the gap with your two hitters. With someone like Karlak who does an insane amount of damage, the Far Slayer is pretty easy to take out. Once you take him out, you will discover a nice surprise as all of the other enemies are just not there. It is not impossible to do it the other way around and fight everyone, but I wanted to provide my experience for anyone that wanted to save their sanity. Finding the path to the Temple of Ball after this combat is pretty easy. You'll just need to head north from where the Far Slayer was and follow this path. This will lead you to a pretty open cave. There is a path in this cave that will lead you to a bunch of rats and some nasty water, but that's not where you need to be right now. Try and find this part where you can take a path to the left or to the right down. They both can lead you where you need to go. The left path has something you need for completing the Dribbles quest, but otherwise I didn't find a lot of good loot. Eventually, make your way onto this bridge and toggle the sigil. From here, you should be able to open the door with the amulet of Ball and walk into the temple. Inside the temple, you will find Orin and the hostage. After a gruesome transformation later, you will begin Orin's boss fight. In this fight, you will most likely have Orin, two other cultists, and the boon of Ball in the initiative order. There are also cultists performing a ritual, so they will not participate in the beginning of the fight. I recommend focusing on Orin first. Orin, in her form, has an ability called Unstoppable, which you will probably have seen before. It means that if a damage attack hits, the damage is reduced to one and they lose an unstoppable charge. Orin has seven of these and she regains them at the end of every round due to the boon of Ball. The best way I found of dealing with this was using spells with multiple projectiles, especially Magic Missile. For every level you upcast spells like Magic Missile or Scorching Ray, you gain an extra projectile. At this point in the game, I was able to upcast Magic Missile, which always hits its target, at a high enough level that I could get rid of all of Orin's unstoppables. Then my heavy hitter like Karlak could go in and do massive damage. This did take some very high spell slots to get away with, and it required my character going early in the initiative order, but it made fighting Orin incredibly easy, so if you can do something similar to this, I highly recommend it. If you kill Orin quickly enough, the cultist ritual will stop and they will enter the fight. These cultists will be trickier to fight as they love to attack and then go invisible. 
Some of the best methods for dealing with this are big area of effect spells like Ice Storm that will damage the cultists and reveal them, or Spirit Guardians. With Spirit Guardians, you can have the companion or player run around and find the cultists, or let the cultists come to you and get damaged to reveal themselves. This will hopefully help you defeat the cultist and successfully complete the Temple of Ball. With that being said, these are my tips and tricks for completing the Temple of Ball and defeating Orin. If you have any other tips and tricks that you want to share, please leave it in the comments below. I have left the rest of my fight footage here if anyone is interested. Thanks for watching and good luck on your adventures. Light on my feet. Never a dull moment.
forest.
poor fucker. my breath. up. 